You dumb bitch! <gasps> There's the bitch! Here. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. 
I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So they have more, more guards, guards than, than we anticipated. It seems, it seems risky, risky, but Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, position ready to ready pick the guard, guard off. off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... Um, this seems to be the best spot for quiet entry. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, yeah. it's no it's fun beating up immature soldiers, soldiers like them. them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. You could rest here in the cabin in the meantime. Are you rested? Well, it's time. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while our Tom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. So, what is there in Astraka? Just the market. The city is, you know, gone. But the piers are still there, so once the river got cleaner, Attention, on they started right. trading there. I was there too. Helped decontaminate the piers. Why have a market there? <laughs> Where else? It used to be a big city. Great place for a market. It's just that the gangs took it over. So our skipper left the place, and the guys tagged along. At least, those who are still alive. But how are we supposed to go there now? Well, we got it covered. They buy all of our wares wholesale, and we get our fuel from them at a special discount. 
Then we just go up the river, deliver whatever the guys up there need from the south, load up their stuff, and go back down. Easy money, too. We don't have to tow the barges. I see. All right, then. I'll be going. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sure thing. But keep an eye out. <laughs> Well, what did we forget here, I wonder? Doesn't look like we're going to get much of anything from guarding this place. Safe for trouble. between the barges. Climb overboard. to keep sitting on our thumbs here. Well, the highlight is working on. The generator shuts off all the time. Yeah, that's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. It sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. Well, they aren't so bad. Look how long they lasted. And Ahmed wanted oh, two more clips for the new guys. I so... always get the guard to be when the others are making all the fun assignments. Are you in a hurry? This luck thing sure is a this bitch. This a monster in the river? This shit is too much! <laughs> it's a shame you aren't in Shiboxery. What is that? Oh, one of those monsters sunk a barge. Well, that's bullshit. Tell that to Sergei when you see him. He and the boys wanted to catch it. How? Well, the usual way. You got the boat anchor, put a roasted dog on it, Tied the rope to a bullet, and then they waited. So? 
What happened? Go. It beat. That's what. I could catch it beat shot, so I... well, it tore the ball out of the box, along with half of its side. So it sunk on the spot. Wow! Like, wow! Ah, bullshit. What happened next? Well, they swam ashore. By the time they got out of the water, two of Sergei's friends had been eaten. He just opened its mouth and swallowed them whole. Bullshit! And why, pray tell, is Sergei all gray, even though he's just turned 40? How am I supposed to know? Well, just ask him. He'd tell you about swimming with that monster behind him. 